What's up, sons? It's Blind Rod with Son of a Tech once again, and a huge shout out to chat in the live stream for the Crypto Mining Morning Show, which we do Monday through Friday at hopefully 9.45 a.m. Central Standard Time, sometimes later, depending on what's going on in my personal life. But we were made aware of the leaks for the RTX 3050 Ti hash rate on Ethereum. It doesn't look that good. We are gonna go ahead and cover it though, so you guys can be prepared on whether or not you want to purchase it for mining right after a word from today's partner. Today's video is brought to you in partnership with Gamersups. Gamersups provides a healthy alternative to sugary energy drinks with delicious flavors like Misfits Melon or my favorite, Blue Raz. I use the Gamersups as an alternative to support my active lifestyle outside of content creation. Caffeine free options are great for late night gaming after the kids have gone to bed. And my favorite part about Gamersups is that they accept cryptocurrency. And for a limited time, when you purchase a tub with cryptocurrency, you will receive a Bitcoin shaker. Follow the affiliate link in the description and don't forget to use code SOAT at checkout. Welcome back. So let's go ahead and hop into the information. This is coming from videocars.com, one of our favorites on the channel. NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3050 is not good for Ethereum mining is the title of the article. Our source in China provided some Ethereum mining performance of the upcoming RTX 3050 graphics card. It appears that the card shifts with the light hash rate algorithm in place because the hash rate drops from 20-ish to 12.5 mega hash a second in a matter of seconds. You can see that to achieve this hash rate, the card only consumes 73 watts. And that is the screenshot for it. I'm not exactly sure which miner this is to be fair. Those figures appear to be confirmed by leaker WX Nod, who published similar results using a different mining software. According to those results, the card offers 13.66 mega hash a second at 57 watts, which implies further optimizations and power limit and memory overclocking. And obviously, if we look down here, we can see that it is utilizing NB miner 39.5, so light hash rate unlocking is capable on that particular software. So my assumption is this 13.66 mega hash a second is indicative of the light hash rate unlock being applied. And that's not that great. The article continues and says, now taking those figures into account with NVIDIA's suggested retail price and current value of Ethereum, the return of investment for the RTX 3050 is already at 500 days. And that's assuming the card costs 250 US dollars. In any case, such as the card going retail at $350, the ROI would be 700 days. With crypto coins value going down and the supposed Ethereum transition to proof of stake model, now planned for June 2022, it makes no sense to invest in the RTX 3050 to mine. Gamers rejoice. Now, obviously, videocars.com has a little bit of a bias towards the whole crypto versus gamer aspect of things, hence the end of their gamers rejoicing. But hold on, gamers, we haven't tested the rest of the algorithms. We have already seen a lot of GPU miners starting to hedge mine and mine other projects such as Flux, Ravencoin, Ergo, Conflux, Cortex, etc. Because of this, we may see that the RTX 3050 performs very well in things like, of course, Flux. And if that's the case, maybe the ROI is much better. I will be going out to purchase it day one at Micro Center in Houston. So if you guys are gonna be out there, maybe you'll catch me, say hi. And we will be coming back and trying to get the testing done on all relevant algorithms for you guys. So if you're interested in that, be sure hit, to hit the like, comment, subscribe, and notification bell so the algorithm knows that you are interested in my content. I'm looking forward to testing the RTX 3050 no matter how it shakes out, but I wouldn't suggest purchasing one right off of the bat before I have some testing done. That being said, if you have to worry about stock in your particular area or you're purchasing online and you really want to get something, you can go ahead and test it out. If you're a YouTuber content creator as well, purchasing it so that you can do tests and share them with the community is always appreciated. And I always like to have somebody to bounce off my hash rates with so that I can make sure that of course, I'm accurate or as close to being accurate as possible. Speaking of which, on the RX 6500 XT, I did notice that we are seeing higher hash rates 
uh, around the 12 mega hash a second, according to a couple other content creators. So my half a mega hash a second doesn't appear to be correct. I don't know if something is wrong with my mining software. It was supposed to be the four gigabyte. It looks like it was mining Ethereum uh, in zombie mode, which is going to impact that. So I need to do redo testing for Ethereum Classic, etc., and other ET hash coins that support cards with less than four gigabytes of video memory, less than or equal to. So that's going to pretty much wrap up today's video. I just wanted to get this information out to you guys as quickly as possible. Sorry we didn't cover it during the live stream. Sometimes it's just a little bit difficult to keep up with everything, but I'm doing my best and I hope that you guys are finding the channel helpful and informative. I will see you next Tuesday. If you enjoyed this content, be sure to hit the subscribe button for more or check out this playlist for more crypto content related topics.